SP Ticket Barcelona 2019. Um, we're here with Mark Hartz from SAP. Mark, it's good to have you back in front of the Intertops camera once again. Could you please introduce yourself to our uh, viewers? Yeah, cool. Thanks for having me. My name is Mark. Um, I'm leading the product management team for Data Hub and Data Intelligence. Okay, great. We just left the, the keynote. And they talked about uh, data intelligence, and that seemed familiar. Is that the same as the product um, SP Data Hub? Uh, yeah, we don't have any push to write two names, or let's say nearly the same kind of product. The reason for that is that data intelligence is a cloud based product, so it's a managed service uh, with having in the machine learning capabilities. Data Hub, in contrast, is an on premise product which can be deployed in a public cloud. And of course, we are now working to align the naming, to align the messaging. But yeah, right now we have two names. Yeah, okay, so the distinction is the cloud. And um, just introduced was also the SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. Yep. That was yep. probably announced to be general available in yep. the fourth quarter of this year. So that's great. But what's the relation then with data intelligence? Yeah, I mean, every data warehouse knows what's the way how they can get data in, right? So, and, uh, there are paradigms within Data Warehouse Cloud to do as much as possible on a federated and mutual way, which is now they how you use Data Warehouse. But if there are, let's say, more complex transformations, complex pre-processing needed, then Data Intelligence is a great, let's say, platform and to manage and orchestrate all of these integration processes upfront. So it's complementing and integrating with the Data Warehouse Cloud. So we are uh, equally excited yeah. about it. A lot of nice space to Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, going back to the SAP data hub, uh, it seemed that there was a lot of time and development effort because they had the SAP operators. Yep. Uh, the SAP data hub. Yep. Is that then also the, the uh, biggest use case that you saw with connecting SAP systems? So, we are now almost two years in the market, I think. Uh, I think two years ago, Tangled and Wasn't now. Yes. And we do have nearly just checked with 180, 200 customers. I would say that most use cases we have seen is predominantly in the integration between SAP systems and cloud stores, data lakes, IoT systems, whatever. Um, so to answer your question, absolutely. That's our key differentiator. To know semantics, have a predefined connection, yeah. uh, data mechanisms for SAP systems, all of that stuff. In build, that was actually one of the biggest focus areas what we had now in the last few releases. Yeah, so it's a USB or a uh, I mean, that's what, what yeah. you would expect from an SAP to yeah. provide right? a class integration of SAP systems. Uh, and that's the balance we are trying to find having that. But also uh, having uh, keeping the openness uh, to the, let's say, external world, uh, cloud stores, and such and so on. Well, thank you. <laughs> So yeah, still have five minutes. Yeah, so uh, enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.